Hello, my name is Michael Baker and this is my presentation for Major Project Part 2. The project is called Real Stitch and is based around Disney's character Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. The project is a set of two photorealistic 3D models of Stitch and matching environments for each theme. The models are split into both a space theme and an island theme. What I wanted to do was create 3D models and environments for use in 3D animation and games and also create centerpieces to my portfolio. My process was first to research similar projects and designs and see what others had done to achieve their results. Next I did some concept sketches until I landed on the style and basic look of what I wanted. Then to those sketches I traced some basic mesh sketching on top, similar to how the contours would be in Maya. Next in Maya I polymodeled a basic stitch character and created photorealistic materials in Maya by creating textures and bump maps in Photoshop. From there I saved two copies of the basic stitch model and started altering and adding parts to them in Maya to suit their separate themes. When that was done, I created very simplified environments for each of them, mainly to enhance the look of the turntable renders I had in mind. From there, I set up cameras, did a few test renders to make sure everything looked right. And when everything did, I rendered out my 720 HD turntable shots. Later I also composed a 1080 HD image to show more detail on the character models. One of the problems I had during the project was that I originally wanted to use ZBrush fur tools on my model so I had no bump mapping on the part of stitch that was supposed to have fur on them. The problem was that when imported to ZBrush, my models lost all the materials and texture work I had done in Maya, and also lost all smoothing. On top of that, importing into ZBrush also made all the polygons into one big combined polygon. This made it impossible to pose the character for later. I first tried to solve this problem by using the fur tools in Maya. But when I tried that I came across another problem, which is when I got to the f got the fur to a nice short length like I wanted, the fur ended up going blocky and into the shape of the unsmoothed mesh. I tried to get past this problem by using the fur slash hair brush tool in Maya, but when I used it, the color mapping I had couldn't be applied to it. In the end, I made fur bump maps for the fur materials, which worked out well considering I only wanted to have very short, smooth fur on the models in the first place. Another problem I had was I ran short on environment modeling time because I had spent so much time prioritizing the main character models. I solved this problem by cutting the environments down to very simple concepts created purely to enhance the look of the character models. I 
I also use the free palm tree model from the internet to save time creating an island environment. The final problem I was I had was for rendering time was taking too long at a 1080 HD resolution. I solved this by downgrading to 720 HD resolution and compensating slightly with a 1080 HD still image. During this project, I learned many things including better modeling techniques, some UV mapping tricks, some cool rendering techniques and I also learned how to prioritize my work better. What I could have done better or differently is first of all moving to ZBrush early in the, in the project next time I want to use it. And I also would have made more time for environment modeling and maybe a bit more time for rendering. Thank you.